Hey everybody, what's going on? It's been a little while. Uh, life's been a little crazy lately, but uh, here I am, I'm back, doing another video. Well, nothing's happened with the truck here. Oh, what's going on? You have a truck here? I'm driving by. Okay, good. Um, actually guys, it's large garbage day. So you might be able to see down there. I had a bunch of stuff last night and stuff. I want to show it to you. But I really got to get some more stuff down. So I'll be right back. Alright. Well, I'll tell you about some of the stuff I got. I was going to take you guys with me, but shit just got hectic and my battery wasn't charged in time. So unfortunately, you didn't get to come for this ride. But that happens. Hold on. I'm get the garbage guy on camera. He's not even in that bags anyways they're not getting the good stuff anyways um, some of the stuff I got I got some pipe wrap this is just like the fiberglass insulation type uh, a couple little brooms like little sweet put hand brooms like that um, some gaskets a duster a few pieces of this you know, pipe pipe insulation uh, the other type this inverter right here it's like an old fishing boat inverter uh, we tested it. It works. Um, how good, I don't know. It's pretty dirty power, but it'll work. And pinch. Uh, some kind of shelf bracket. Only one of them, but I got other ones that are very similar. Um, oh, yeah. Some of you other guys would like this. Check this rig out. It's like a survival shovel kind of thing. It's got a a bottle opener, a wrench, which is like that and that. It's like a 10 to 12 mil roughly. It says hammer on the end, so you can you know, kind of use this flat edge as a hammer. Or this one. And then it's got a saw edge. This, this here. The saw edge. It's serrated, but not very sharp, but oh wow, I didn't notice that one. It's got a nail puller. And it's got a hatchet edge. Here. It's not very sharp, but it's enough you could cut her. You could cut something with that, anyways. But whatever. Nice. The guys just took everything. I thought they were just taking the bags. But anyways, oh yeah, it's got a compass in the end. I didn't even check to see if. Yeah, it does. Top comes off. Ooh, the compass don't work so good. The compass would help if it had fluid in it, wouldn't it? Aren't these supposed to have oil in them? Yeah, so the compass don't work. Nice, they took all my garbage. Sweet. I got home in just the nick of time. This garbage truck, like, literally just went by. As I pulled in the driveway. Okay, sorry for being distracted, but that happens. So, we have our usual emergency supplies. Two matches, some fishing line, a fish hook. That's about it. Nothing else. That's all of it. But anyways, that was pretty cool, I think. I thought it was a knife, actually, or something. Because it really looks like a survival knife, but obviously it's not. I'm going to try something here, guys. Just bear with me for a minute some kind of valve you can actually add more oil to the compass but I see no point here I'm gonna have to put the camera down upside down all around Hi. So let's, let's see if we can get it on facing the right direction here that would help yeah, it's weird I've never seen a compass one of these cheap ones especially, but any compass really, lose all its fluid like that. Makes it not work so good. Luckily I know where I'm at and which way is which. This sure don't. So, makes no difference which way it goes. Alright, anyways. So that was that. 
Um, I did get a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to be showing you in this video as well. Um, most of that stuff is uh, at my father's place. So uh, maybe I'll show you in another video or something. Nothing too exciting, just some... I don't know if you guys hear that noise, but it's like metal squealing and crushing something in the garbage truck. Ugh, it crushes through my ears. Anyways, um... What was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, uh, the pipe. I got a whole whack of stovepipe. Um, probably enough to redo my camp stovepipe with stainless steel stovepipe, so right on. Uh, I got a couple spools, you know, like the big spools. A lot of people use them for tables and that. Anyways, I got a couple of them I picked up. Uh, there's some other stuff I dropped off, I just can't remember what it was. But here's what's in the back of the truck. I just had an old mower. It had the same wheel as this front wheel. I was hoping I could steal it and use it because that one, the, wheel, the gear stripped. But that wheel stripped too, so I made sure to get it back out. I picked up this weed whacker the other day. It got thrown out for large garbage. It's actually decent enough shape. It should run with some fresh gas. A little tinkering. Kind of similar to this other one I got here. So, let's see. Oh, look at this. Copper. Yeah, I got a little bit of copper pipe. I mean, it's only two pieces, but... Copper pipe's copper pipe. Get this guy. This has got some copper and brass. So not super heavy or anything, but... And, you know, it adds up. All this different... There's a few different extension cords and a couple other different wires of different sorts. I just kind of chucked them all in the pile here for now. Um, because I didn't really want to get too into it yet, uh, so I'm going to have to tear that all apart. And go through it and see, I think I'm going to keep this extension cord. It's fairly heavy duty, fairly new, looks like it's in okay shape, so probably use that. A couple of axles, these are uh, lawn tractor axles. Oh, some nylon blocks, I can't really remember. It's poly something. It's actually called this white stuff. You know, you can. It's this stuff that doesn't wear on itself. Anyways, uh, I got two blocks. There's another one there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but under the. It's about the same size. I got another piece or two of this in the house or in the garage somewhere. So it's always good to have a bit more. I'm not sure what I'll ever use it for, but I've seen it used many times. So I just haven't. There's been times I could have used it, but I didn't have it at the time, so I'm sure there'll be other times. Here is uh, two little, you know, 4 by 4 blocks. Jeez, I should have looked at that one a bit better. It's not the best one for jacking stuff up with. But, whatever, they are what they are. They're just for jacking stuff up on. Uh, here's what I was saying about these uh, wheels. Hold on a second. So these tractor wheels, see they got, they got these axles that can just bolt or screw to whatever. So that's pretty cool. I can always put different tires. Those tires are pretty much shot, but I love them. But I can always put new ones on if I need to. What that was. Um, pressure washer hoses and wands. Why did I get those? Because I picked up a pressure washer. 1650 which is a lot better than my little dinky one you can see mine's all taped up uh, the end broke and also now the wand is actually broken it leaks all around the handle so I'm gonna have to replace it anyways so bonus I got a bigger and better one uh, the other weed whacker I picked up it looks to be all there I don't really know I haven't gone into too much detail with it I'll probably chuck a little gas in it see if she'll go but this ain't the time of year for that kind of thing, obviously. Metal bucket. They're always good. Ashes or whatnot. Some kind of light. It looks to be a plow light. Like on the front over there. I'm not sure that's what this is. Looks to be some kind. Anyways, it's uh oh fuck, I forgot about that too. But anyways, that's uh I'll use it for something, I'm not sure what, but you never know. This was an old security system, I guess. Apparently somebody had made this security system. 
It's all homemade. It's got a flashing light, on off switch, another light, a couple lights I guess that flash and do different things and then there's a timer and yeah I don't even know what all's here but anyways it's it's good good bunch of junk to have just to um to use the parts out of I mean that's a decent little timer and whatever this thing is. Oh I got a switch. Anyways uh not to bore you too much with the same fucking stuff. This is a side discharge chute. Might work for my lawn tractor. It's newer than mine. I should take this in with me. This is a shop vac filter. Oh yes, these are very handy. Picked another one of these up. I bought this, bought one exactly like this about four or five years ago at the store. And it's starting to wear out. This one's actually in better shape. And the flapper works, I can hear it. Bonus, um, welding mask. It's not the best shape and the strap's broke, but I'll make it work. Even if it's just for friends. Uh, laundry mach washing machine hose. Green tape. Take that inside. Oh, yeah. Here's my screwdriver. I got a bunch of odds and ends at one spot. It's like some household stuff. Uh, I got one of these funky solar color changing lights here. I haven't really done much with it yet. Is it on? It might not even have been turned on. <laughs> but anyways, I'll have a look at it. If it works, I might put it up. If not, I'll steal the panel. Uh, yeah, there's lots of little odds and sides. I got a couple little pumps there, some chain. This sump pump I don't think works, but I'm going to steal the cord off it because it's 100 miles long. Under this chain, I found a carburetor. Now the funny thing is, I'm almost positive, I forgot I had this. I wanted to bring it in, it actually got wet last night, it rained, but that's okay. But doesn't that carburetor look familiar? Like, extremely familiar? I'm not saying it is the same carburetor. I'm saying it's pretty damn close. It's got the same doohickeys on the front. I don't know if it's a, a Chev or a Ford, but I'm going to take it off. It looks like it actually allows more airflow uh, than that carb does. So I'm going to actually clean it up. I may end up switching it over to this carb and using that carb instead because it just seems like a better all around carb to me. But we'll see. It, it does have some issues I can already see, but nothing major. We'll leave that under there for now. Uh, I also got a gas can that's at my father's place. One of those things that you won't see, probably see, but I'll let you know, just so you know. I don't know if this is the mic that I just talked to. Oh no, this is. Never mind. Um, it's more pipe insulation. I shouldn't let that get all tore up. What are you doing in here? Come on out. Roscoe, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Alright, I got him some toys from that buoy. Uh, also got him a soccer ball over there. What else did I get? I got this um, propane stove. I managed to throw a lot of stuff out, which was nice. Oh, you get that half torn apart already. It's a skateboard I got them. Oh yeah, I picked up these windows. Um, my mother kept the other one that was like this because uh, it had a hole. Uh, or this one had a hole, so I, she wanted the good one, so I gave it to her. And she's got that one. and. I've got the shitty one, and there's another one here behind it as well that's in good shape. I just got to figure out where I'm going to use it. And look at this. Would you believe I found this in the garbage last night, yesterday? Hard to believe, but yep, this thing was in the garbage. Um, obviously, it does have some leaks because it's not full anymore. I did fill it up uh, last night. 
around 10 o'clock at night, so it's got a quick leak, but it's rubber. This is Zodiac. It can be repaired. And back here has to be the funniest one. I came driving along, and I damn near shit my pants when I seen this. I damn near shit my pants even more when I got it home. Because I drove it home. You're like, what the fuck did you find in the garbage that you can drive? A bicycle? No, no. No, no. A fucking lawn tractor. And yes, it'll, it starts. The funny thing is... There it is. It should start right up. The deck on this is pretty rough. Uh, but it does have a deck and a brand new belt. Might be that I'm not on the seat too. Hold on, guys. Oh. It does have a seat switch. Hold on a sec, I'll see. See if I can activate it. Battery might be dead. Or not. The e-brake just doesn't hold it enough. I just got the little 12 cylinder. Full choke. I don't know exactly why it's rattling like that, but I do know that it's blowing smoke out everywhere and oil. She's pretty rough, but there, she goes. there you go, boys. So yeah, I was driving with the woman. I saw that and I hopped out of the car faster than you would believe. And <laughs> I jumped on it. Like I said, I saw it had a battery. I saw it had full tires. I'm like, I'm gonna drive this fucker home. Started it and started. I was like, yeah, buddy. Hopped on and there it is in my backyard. It runs, it drives, it moves. Um, so it's doing better than my other parts more. Oh, yeah, I got that extension cord there. Nothing major. Just something to add to the copper collection. Uh, that's getting pretty close to, oh, geez. I need to wash my face. That's what happens when you do mechanic work all day for a living. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the last of what I picked up. Um, I got this uh, dustpan, funnel, little knife thing. Some kind of scratch remover from GT88. The maker's a DD7. I kind of remember DD7. I think that's what's pouring out there. I don't know. Anyways, it's old, but uh, some other little homemade or I don't know what the hell this is, some kind of little carving blade, not very sharp. Um, this looks to be used, I haven't actually even tried it yet, but I think it's going to work better than ours. Ours is uh, totally broken, it doesn't offer any resistance, so it just slams the door shut. Uh, that was pretty much it, except for just a bunch of random junk here. Uh, wow, that's a little tiny pencil, isn't it? Some tape. Some rods and ends, you know, dice. And switches, uh, screws, cover plates. Some knobs and stuff. Some brand new old flashlight bulbs. Some brand new toll paint that's probably no good. Ancient. Uh, a bunch of gaskets and stuff for plumbing. Oh, I used to know what this was, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. But one of these things. Yeah, a whole bunch of shit. Anyways, I didn't get quite as much stuff as I have in the past. God, I need to wash my face. 
But yeah, I didn't get as much stuff as I've gotten in the past at times, that's for sure. Um, I would have liked to get, like, you know, a big haul like I've gotten in the past, in a way. But, I've never gotten a Zodiac or a running lawn tractor straight out of the garbage. So, I'm not complaining. I'll tell you that right now. No way, shape, or form am I complaining. Um, I'm actually just checking. I left uh, the Jeep here. Uh, I don't know, I might have left the door open or something, and uh, the other day I checked and the battery was completely stone dead, so uh, I had her on trickle charge since last, well, I had her on a 10 amp charge for about four hours last night, and then I put it on trickle charge, and then it's been trickle charge, and it's, it's like, I don't know, 11 o'clock last night till now, which is 3 o'clock. So, needless to say, it should be charged, but I'm going to let it go till this evening anyways. And then I charged the other battery that came with it. This was sitting in the back. It's a nice uh, side post battery, which is very important to have sometimes because, you know, some not everything takes regular batteries and side post batteries. Aren't all that common. It really suck to have to go buy one just, you know, for something like that. But I really don't care about that, to be honest. There's a crazy puppy dog. He is, he's crazy as hell. But the other big thing, I don't know if you guys can really tell in here, because this place is such a fucking mess still, but uh, I've cleaned up a lot of garbage. Um, most of the stuff that you see, I mean, there's still garbage in here, but not much. It's not like, rotor I didn't throw out. I keep rotors, uh, at least some, because they're good wheel chocks for cars. Um, I'm doing work. I'll slide a rotor under the front or b the front and rear of each tire. That I'm well, the two rears or the two fronts, depending on which end I'm working on. And I've never had a vehicle move with uh, the rotors. They make really good wheel chocks. And it's something you can do with old ones. Uh, you know, if you do any garage work yourself, you'd know that uh, this kind of shit is uh, pretty easy to um, happen to you. You know. Uh, or build up on it rather which I lost my train of thought mid-sentence but yeah you end up uh, you know with all kinds of parts like this and shocks and brake pads and all that luckily I threw all that out and they took it all in the large garbage so bonus um, I didn't get it all I'm just noticing right there there's a brake shoe I missed but whatever I'm not going to get everything every time I'd like to I try to this damn thing, the rapid fix there, you can see it now, I redid it, I failed, and it was actually completely gone off it, it must have not really been stuck very good because I didn't prep the surface, so it doesn't surprise me that it's gone, but I replaced it, but that was the end of my rapid fix, so unfortunately there's still the welding powder, like the red welding powder, you can even see that it says welding powder, can't you? Kind of, yeah. But the actual adhesive is no more. I use most of the rest of it fixing up that tail right there. Which is all messed up. But I have empty garbage cans in here. I haven't had that in a long time. <laughs> a long time. Maybe since I moved in. Uh, the last two garbage days I met big garbage days I meant to empty this one and I didn't either time so it was really good that I got this guy done um I did start a little bit over here started organizing this corner trying to make more room at the stairs um there's like an old drill a bunch of junk here I got rid of without that monitor heater it's again not that much space here I think I'm going to take this table and put it upstairs because right now it's taking up too much room Really, this table here takes up too much room anyways, so it'd be nice to at least, you know, get rid of one table that I don't need, because I just put crap on it, and it just becomes a waste receptacle. But, like I said, I got rid of all my extra automotive parts, the old shocks off this, the old shocks off the woman's car, all the old rotors, or all the old um, brake stuff, and... 
whatnot. Uh, most of the old boxes. Uh, I did actually miss a box there, but no biggie. Um, yeah, so I got most everything that I was shooting to get. Sorry, just here's the, it's a battery charge. <laughs> I really gotta get this back to Buddy. I uh, keep forgetting to message him or call him about it. I can't get it going, so I'm gonna get it back to him. So that'll give me that much more space. And I empty all that, get that out of here, and start. All this stuff's gotta go upstairs. For the most part, I'll leave the ramps down here probably. But all this other crap, for the most part, except for the snowblower, will go upstairs, and the bags will stay down because the recyclables, which are gonna go in soon. And that'll make a big difference. And then, you know, between that and a couple other things, I'll finally get this garage all cleaned up. And then I can finally get my wood stove certified. I was, the, I should have done it before, but it was near the end of the year. And I just didn't really have the money. Now, you know, with them, me working in that, I have the cash. So I just got to uh, organize the right time to get it cleaned up enough that he'll actually prove it because you know he's not going to prove it when there's a car seat sitting right in front of it and an outboard motor sitting right beside it and a bunch of junk sitting on top of it but anyways as you guys know this has been a long video and I've been meaning to do more videos but unfortunately I've been getting the time to get certain longer videos out and managed to get them up so you know as it you guys should be used to it by now I'm all over the place when it comes to uploading I try to do my best to try to be consistent with it but you know it comes and goes ebbs and flows and it is what it is but I gotta go it's a beautiful day I gotta get some lunch right quick and then go back to work in like 20 minutes so I'll talk to you guys after. Peace.